Whatever it takes to lead. Whatever it takes to inspire. Do whatever it takes. Call one 300 go bombers Well, welcome to the Engine Room on Bomber TV. Assistant Coach Matty Egan has joined us this week. And Matty, a fantastic game on the weekend. Friday night, round one, a 35-point win to the Bombers. Uh, must have been a great feeling after the game. Yeah, it was. It was a really good feeling after the game. We uh, have gone through a bit in the last six weeks, I think, and um, I think it just showed the resolve the group's got. We, uh, we didn't get off to a great start. We were 22 points down, and I think it showed the way uh, we've trained the last, you know, last of uh, this pre-season. Uh, that they were able to come back and uh, work their way into the game. Yeah, 22 points down, I think, 10 minutes into the first quarter. And What was the reason, do you think, that we got back into the game? Uh, there's no, ba- no doubt we're getting beaten around the ball. Um, they, it was, the ball was locked in their half and we weren't able to get it out. I think the midfielders really dug deep and they started to win the clearances and uh, win the contested ball, uh, at least get it back on our terms a little bit and uh, we started to get some, some entries which you won't get in the first 10 minutes and, and then it was just a seesawing battle for the rest of the quarter. A big emphasis on defence this pre-season, I think James and Job have both said that publicly and also pressure around the contest, the coaches must have been wrapped with that. Yeah, yeah I thought our tackling was terrific on the weekend, I think we had 78 tackles so uh, we've worked a lot on it in defence especially and Welly's pushed it really hard, our tackling, our tackling technique and uh, I think it, it showed on the weekend that we've definitely improved in that area and uh, we've still got a lot of uh, improvement left, obviously, but mm. it just showed on the weekend that uh, we're able to stick our tackles and, and our pressure around the ball uh, was really good. And a debutant, uh, Nick Comer from WA, 22-year-old, mature rookie, a, a fantastic uh, debut for him. Yeah, we recruited Nick uh, not to play VFL. He was... He was I looked at the way he played for East Perth last year. He plays the exactly same way uh, in the AFL. He hunts the ball. He's aggressive. Uh, He he keeps playing footy. I think uh, at times when players, things don't go your way, Mm. you can lose your way a bit during the game. But uh, he has the ability to forget about it and just keep playing footy. And he was terrific. He was he was um, tackling. He was his forward pressure was great. But I think he was really clean around the contest. His his hands and uh, his ability to release to teammates was. Really good for a first gamer. And Benny Howlett, four goals as uh, forwards coach. Uh, you'll be taking credit for him leading the common medal. At yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've had most to do with Benny. No, uh, <laughs> look, uh, he's been in the midfield group most of the year, but um, it, all, I think all our midfielders are going to have to push forward at some stage. And for him to play that role uh, on the weekend, he hasn't played a lot forward during the year. Uh, he, was, he was really clean. He finished his goals. He was... Uh, it was just hunting the contest, I think, as well. And uh, I think on the weekend we had um, Job kicked a goal, Mizey kicked a goal, uh, Melksham, the guys that did play midfield and push forward, uh, did a really good job. And Benny, especially, four goals is, is a good effort. All right, Ego, we've got some questions via Twitter. Of course, fans can ask the engine room questions via the club's Twitter account. And our first is from Emma, who's asking, How many big men can we play in our side at the one time if everyone's fit? And just going through our big men, we've got Ryder, Bell, Chambers, Hill, Gumbledon, Carlisle, Hooker, Hurley, Pears, Cramery and Danaher. Some yeah, talent there. I do get this question a lot, especially how many big guys can we play in our forward line. I think it just depends who we're playing. Um, different teams have different matchups, and I think at some stage up forward especially you'll see uh, three talls, and at some games I think you, know, you might play two, and I think it'll be the same uh, down back for Welly. It just depends on who we're playing, and whether they've got uh, one big guy, like on the weekend, probably had Walker was their main target, or if you're, you know, you're playing a different team that might have three tools. So it just depends on who we're playing at the time. All right, and Nick has asked, uh, do you think that there's, there's some extra chemistry amongst the boys after the last six weeks that they've had leading into the game on Friday night? Yeah, I think no doubt they've bonded over the last six weeks. It uh, hasn't been uh, great for, for all of them, but what they have done is spend a lot more time with each other. Um, and yeah, you can, you can see it's only it's only one game, but I think yeah, they've definitely shown that uh, they have a lot, probably a lot more care for each other, and they've uh, have gone through something together that no one else has. So, all right, the rumor has it is asking whether or not uh, if Goddard's likely to receive a tag, are we going to see him playing more up forward? I'm sure you'd like to see him up. Forward. Yeah, you can go forward, forward whenever he wants, <laughs> mate. Uh, uh, throughout the year, again, he, he'll play he'll play different spots. If we need him down back, he's a, he's a great ball user. 
I think he saw on the weekend he took a few really good mark intercepts. He reads the flight really well. So uh, he spends some time uh, down back, or if you know we can get a good match up for him forward and he, he can't release a tag, um, yeah, he'll definitely go there. He's, he's a beautiful kick, and as you saw, he kicked a goal on the weekend from 50 out. So. He can come down whenever he wants. <laughs> you mentioned those those marks he took. I mean, he didn't have 35 possessions or anything like that, but he he did some important things at important stages of the game. So you guys would have been really happy with. His yeah, teams. he did. Uh, late in the game, there was a few contests that he he just won, and uh, that's the sort of player he is. We don't expect him to get 30 touches every week and kick two goals. He's mm. he's got a um, he's a really good leader for us on and off the field, and uh, if he keeps doing the sort of role he did on the weekend, that's that's all we can ask from him. All right, and Robert Moorsman's wondering, um, how do you think our back line's changed and adapted to the game style of James Hurd once the team to be playing? Probably should have asked this for Willie, but yeah. since you're um, here this week, Ego. I don't think our back line's changed too much. Uh, maybe a few players here and there with the younger guys uh, pushing for spots, but it's probably more the way that the team's um, defending the ground. Uh, midfielders probably helping out the backs a little bit more than what they have in the past. Mm. and. Um, we need to play a good forward line that can obviously um, help our mids. So I think it's it's more uh, over the ground rather than just the back line. Beautiful. Ego, thanks very much for joining us thanks on the Engine me. Room. And don't forget, Bomber fans, to tweet in your questions to the Engine Room each week. We'll see you next week.